What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is they are always fucking watching. I like to throw that fucking in there quite a bit. Sit back, get your headphones on because I'm going to swear a little bit in this one. Enjoy the show and let's put it into action. I'm going to start off with a story real quick about one of my clients. He's been working with me for about a week or two. Um, he told me a story yesterday, okay? And it was it went something like this. You know the security gates when you got to walk through and there's, you've got a bag and, you know, like a fair or for me when I go to the box, I got my wife with me then, you know, they got to check their bag, make sure you're not bringing knives, guns, beer, things like that inside of it. This particular client, this son, we're going to this festival, this whatever in his, in his town and they were going to security and the little boy was on his nine-year-old as they're going through it, getting ready to check the bag, the little boy says this, don't worry, my dad doesn't drink anymore. He's a comeback. And as the guy told me that on the phone, I could hear the sadness but happiness at the same time, at the same time ringing through his voice, coming through his tone and his inflection of what the fuck have I been doing? Think about that for a second. How many times in your life have you done something and you overlooked the fact that your kids are actually watching? That everyone around you that you love and care about is actually watching you to lead them? Probably more than you can fucking imagine, right? So he went on to tell me about this and we talked about it. And he's like, man, this makes me feel so proud at the same time it makes me feel so fucking bad. And that is par for the course, right? You're going to get that. You're going to understand it. But here's what you can hold on to in that particular moment. The ability to never go back to that again. Sure, I promote drink, I, I promote control because we're powerful men who are taking back territory for our lives day in and day out. You get to decide what you want to do, but it's the actions, the outcomes that you do from here that's going to impact your fucking kids. And that's what I want to talk about. Whether you realize it or not, you have the ability today, tomorrow, whether you're hearing this in fucking three years down the road, I don't care. What I care about is you understand the power that you have within of you, within you, that you need to harness and use. You have the ability to change the future generations of your family, not just the fucking kid you have right now. The problem is you squander it and you don't think it's a reality. So you go on and you sedate and you lie and you hide and you make excuses. Sometimes even blaming the fucking kids because they're crying too much. You have a fight with your wife. So you move away out of your head you retract back to this drinking this dark side because it feels so fucking comfortable blame it on your wife blame it on your kids blame it on your business blame it on the fucking weather when in reality because you're being a fucking pussy and i could say that because i was you i have a vision burned so fucking strong into my mind that i'm never going back and here's the fucking kicker it took me fucking years to figure it out. It might take you as well. But it doesn't matter as long as you eventually get it figured out. I have this vision burned inside of my head. Oh, my ex-wife sent me a picture of them. My ex-wife sent me this picture. We don't get along, but she did it as a ding to fucking hurt me. This is when he was two, three years old. And he's standing there ready to go by dad. We're ready to go by dad's house, waiting for me. Barely able to peek out this fucking window. He's got tears coming down his eyes because guess what? Dad fucking abandoned him again. Dad didn't show up. How was that for some fucking tough leader? How was that for the fucking setting up his future? It's not. The fucking pussy. And I chose that action. And I get it just like you, it was tough. I had to go through the shakes. I had the mental fog. I had all the pains. I had the anger. I had the shitty fucking marriage. I had the business that was imploding because of my self fucking actions because I made those choices. I am no different than you. But they're always watching. Now here's the good news. You get to decide if you want to be like that forever. 
you get to decide if you want to take and harness that power and, sh- power and show them what a man should do. Not just a man, they're a fucking hero. I know now because I talk every single day, I've got fucking hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of videos, content, stuff out there. I put my story out there and I speak it freely, knowing in a pure fucking hope that my son doesn't think, hey, because my dad did it, I can do it. I've got bigger shoes to fill. He's my hero. And because we've got this fucking wild side of blood that runs through us, that he goes on to try to fucking outdo everything I did. That is a real, real fear for me. But at the same time, I know this. I opened up a gateway to tell him about everything. I hide nothing from him because he's always watching. I would rather him learn and understand from me than to go out and have some punk fucking kids whose dad couldn't fucking be there, who are fucking getting stuck in the dark, and I, I hope they can get out. Show them, hey, try this, do this, do that. Fuck that. Is that who you want to lead your kids? Inside of my life, I've got three kids of my own at home. And I've got four other kids, my brother's kids, which is my niece and my three uh, nephews. I have seven kids who look up to me, who love me, who see this man that I am right now. Every day I get to make the choice. Get up, work my fucking balls off, love every single one of them, love everyone, love my brother, love my wife, love my sister-in-law, work my fucking ass off because they all work with because my brother works with me because we are actually fucking changing the world and show them that this is what community, this is what family, this is what positivity, this is what making the right choices fucking do. Or I have a choice just like you guys to fucking feel sorry for myself, to let the pain and anger fucking in, to give up, drink a beer, do some blow, smoke some meth, lie, sedate, same shit as you. But I don't. And here's why. At the end of my life, I don't want to come fucking anywhere near the thought process in my mind saying that I didn't show these guys the right way, that I didn't take my experiences, just like your experiences you have. I didn't take what I've been through. I didn't take the pit. I didn't take the pain and I didn't turn it into something positive and show them that they can be fucking winners no matter what. These kids are always watching. They love you. You are their first fucking superhero. You are where they get their strength from. You are the provider, the protector. You're the fucking king of their castle. Maybe in a great spot and you're already leading. And if you are, I'm proud of you. That's you. Take out the fucking phone when you get done with me. Call them, tell them you love them, and just remind them every single day. If you're at that spot right now and you're that dad that hasn't been able to see your kids and God knows how long, just like I was, or you're hurting, or you're so emotionally disconnected and unattached to them, you don't even know how to talk to them anymore because maybe they're a little bit older, maybe you fucked up their younger years. It's never too late. If you need help with that, my team and I are willing to help you, but it's going to take you to make a choice. What I'd like you to do is either click the link or reach out to me, find me on Facebook, but you can schedule a call with us, but we'll actually help you and walk you through it. I'm not going to fucking try to sales pitch you here. I'm just going to put this here because I know you listen to it. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. We're here when you're ready. I'll see you on tomorrow's episode of the comeback podcast. Be the fucking man that you know you can be.